A state minister issued a letter requesting a wanted Chinese national to be granted permission to enter Sri Lanka. An MP was caught red-handed attempting to smuggle three kilograms of gold into the country. These are merely a couple of recent incidents. The nation's citizens would be unaware of such occurrings if not for the existence of media. But plans are currently afoot to stifle the activities of the media, the prime source, ensuring the people's right to credible information. Details of such plans emerged through certain statements made by policymakers over the past few days. Special permission was sought from the cabinet and the cabinet appointed a subcommittee led by Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha. Most procedures with regard to the Broadcasting Authority Bill have been completed. Currently, the legal framework is being drawn up to issue radio and television broadcast licenses in a transparent manner to ensure it is done properly and in an orderly manner. We have almost concluded research and discussions on the matter. We are currently compiling the work draft. In another week or two, we will bring it to Parliament following discussions with media institutions. What is this sudden bill being drafted in haste? There is still no document on this available in the public domain. However, based on a letter issued by the Secretary to the Ministry of Mass Media, Anusha Palpiter, today, the subcommittee headed by Dr. Vijay Das Rajapaksha has already compiled a draft legal framework based on policy matters. What is this draft? No one operating in the media industry is still aware of. The State Minister of Mass Media recently hinted at some facts to be included in the new draft laws. We are currently preparing a draft to introduce a new Broadcasting Authority Act. We have been compelled to consider matters concerning the vilification of certain people and their images being tarnished. No matter who likes it or not, we will table the Broadcasting Authority Bill in Parliament, pass it into legislation and ensure the harm caused to society through the media is prevented. This isn't the first attempt by the government to pass laws curtailing the freedom of the media. Similar attempts have been made since over a decade ago. In 2009, an uproar on media freedom occurred when the Press Council Act was to be amended to include laws enabling journalists and media institutions to be penalised. A unified movement by all media institutions opposing the move resulted in it being halted at the time. Following the change of government in 2015 and the subsequent introduction of the draft 19th Amendment to the Constitution, clauses had been included to suppress journalists and media institutions on matters concerning elections. In light of such revelations, News First and other factions explained facts to the Supreme Court on the matter. Following close examination of the facts, the Supreme Court determined that clauses enabling media suppression could only be included based on a referendum. Thereafter, in 2017, a draft was presented to establish a mass media regulatory commission and in 2021, this matter came to the fore once more when amendments to the Press Council Act were proposed. The draft amendment, which included clauses on imprisonment, fines and confiscation of property is currently shelved. It is against such a backdrop that attempts are now being made to bring forth a broadcasting bill. I studied the act in Singapore. That act has established a regulatory authority that not only covers television stations but also social media. It has been empowered through many other legislations in the recent past. Organizations such as Amnesty International have criticized these acts and how they function to suppress the expression of opinions against a regime. They have now propped up certain people to rile up society, cause a stir and arrest those individuals. They will then claim laws of this nature nature must be passed to arrest people who disseminate information of this nature. The government that does not even have 113 seats is now attempting to introduce the Broadcasting Regulatory Act, Social Media Regulatory Act and the Anti-Terrorism Act. You may be aware that right to expression is to be criminalized through the Anti-Terrorism Act. This act will allow the government to direct the media as it pleases. It can also regulate social media based on its presence. 
preferences. This is an attempt to regulate and ban social media users and media institutions claiming they are planning to topple the government even if a post of status against the government is shared on social media. This is an attempt to land a killer blow on the freedom of expression. They brought forth the ATA, the Rehabilitation Bill, but they were unable to pass any of them in the face of strong opposition from the people. But the media suppression they could not introduce through the ATA is now being brought as a new bill.